Hi folks, Sonia Ash here. Today I want to show you how we add some tough and gritty effects to the athletes that we use in a lot of our sports designs. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with this baseball player. And you can see I have already um, cut him out of the background. And we're going to add him into one of our sports banners. This is our screenplay uh, design. So let's go back. Um, first thing, actually, I want to make sure that we're on our cutout photo layer, which we have selected here. Let's go back, grab the baseball player, and we're going to drag this up to the tab, onto the canvas, and let it drop in, and then sort of position him where we want him. That's pretty good right there. So the next step is we are going to duplicate this layer. We are going to create a smart object out of this. So right click and convert it to a smart object. What this is going to allow us to do is to apply filters that we can later go back and adjust. So the next thing we want to do is we want to desaturate this. We want to turn him gray. So control U on your keyboard will bring up your hue saturation palette. Just bring the saturation down, all the way down until it turns black and white. Then the next thing we want to do is we want to add a high pass filter to him. So we'll go up to filter, other, high pass. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, affect the large details. So in order to do that, we're going to put our radius for this particular one at about 50. And you'll see how that just affects just the large details. We're going to click OK. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change our layer mode to hard light. And you'll see how that, if we turn it off, you'll see how that changed. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to affect the small details. So we're going to duplicate this smart layer. And now we can go in and we can double click on the high pass filter and the small details we want to bring down to about let's see about four maybe let's see what happens there now I'm going to zoom in on this so that you can see how that's affecting this let's turn our preview off this was before this was just with the first large details filter and then when I add the small details you'll see how it brings in all the small details in his face and his eyes everywhere. So let's click OK on that. And now let's sort of look around the image. If you can go down here to his arms, if we turn off both filters, this is the original, looks a little soft. If we turn on the large details, you can see how it really kind of brings in that hair and if we turn on the small details, you can see how it further just really gives it an edge. I think what's most remarkable about this is how well his face changes. Let's go take a quick look at that. So again, let's turn both of these filters off. Here's the original. Large details turned on. And small details turned on. Now, you can further adjust these um, to your liking. You, um, the, you can bring the opacity or the fill down to sort of reduce the effect if you don't want quite that much. Or if you want more, you could actually duplicate either of these layers. If you want, say, it to be more gritty, you can go and just duplicate this, and you'll see how it really makes it a lot more edgy. So that's it. You have complete control over this, and that's how we get our athletes to look tough and gritty.